Now we have the latest in the wake of Queen Elizabeth's passing. Deborah Roberts sat down with someone very close to King Charles, talking about everything from his work ethic to Queen Camilla and his role as a father. And she joins us now from Buckingham Palace with more. Good morning, Deb. Good morning, Robin. He is one of the very few people who truly knows the man who is sitting on the throne. For more than a decade, Patty Harverson was the eyes and the ears behind the scenes for the Prince of Wales, a communications pro who came in with an outsider's energy, with the whole idea behind sort of revealing to the world his passions, his sense of humor, and his concern for the environment. So now that his old boss is now king, Harverson wants the world to know that he's more than ready to lead. As the Queen herself did with such unswerving devotion. When the new King Charles gave that first speech after his mother's death, one man was following each and every word. I can see it in his face and I hear it in his voice, you know, the, the, the pain and the grief. How did he do in that speech? I too now solemnly pledged myself. It was from the heart and it was his. Those were his words, the intonation, the language, the tone, the quoting of Shakespeare at the end. It was all the king. It was a perfect combination of the personal and the constitutional. Patty Harvison once helped the former prince write those speeches. As a communications director to the royal family, he helped shape Charles's image. Do you truly feel he's ready now for this moment? Yeah. 100%. He's clearly the best prepared monarch we've ever had. He's the hardest working person I've ever known. I mean, I mean that. He never stops. There isn't a day in the year he isn't working. If the Queen's mantra was all about duty and diligence and responsibility, here in 2022, what is this King's mantra, do you think? His job is to follow the example set by his mother and do the job to the best of his abilities. I've never met anyone who has a deeper understanding of self. You know, he is a very, very thoughtful person and, and he, he has deeply held views. He will do it his way. Harvison joined the then Prince of Wales back in 2004 as a top PR force during a tough time. Princess Diana had died seven years earlier and Charles was struggling to shake off negative press while making a new life with his old love, Camilla Parker Bowles, who was less than popular. Will people accept Camilla as queen and be able to separate her from their thoughts about her as the other woman who came and ruined uh, this fairy tale marriage? Yes, absolutely. They have, they've been married for 17 years now, and she has been by his side, working diligently, supporting him, but also pursuing her own causes, some quite challenging ones. I, have no, I know there is no issue around there. She will be a popular queen. What is it that Camilla brings to him, and what is it that she's going to be able to do to help him in these duties as king? Well, you know, they love each other. She is a source of great support and comfort and love. They share the same sense of humor. They just blend together beautifully. In his new role, King Charles is already seemingly focused on restoring peace between his two sons, William and Harry. After a very public rift drove them apart, Saturday, the brothers surprised many joining forces with their spouses to greet mourners outside Windsor Castle. How is he going to handle this discord, do you think? He's a father with two sons, and I think he'll do it full of love and patience. I think this week will probably be the start of a healing period, I would hope so. He will do whatever he can as, his, as a father to, you know, to bring his sons together. That healing process, he cautions, is probably going to be slow going. As for that viral moment that many see as a, an embarrassing gaffe for the new king, Harvison chalks it up to a blip for a man who is grieving and under intense pressure. He said he would advise that he just ignore the noise and just be himself, which might be another way, Robin, of saying keep calm and carry, carry on. Carry on. I knew that was coming up. So did he reveal anything <laughs> that might surprise us about the new king, Deb? He was really forthcoming. He says that Charles shares that wicked sense of humor that his mother had, loves to laugh at things when they go wrong. Um, he says that he is a workaholic, somebody who just from morning till night blows through lunch and believes in writing personal letters. A lot of people wouldn't know this, but especially to people who are in the military, he will write personal letters. And he says that he is a man who really likes to connect with people. As for people who are questioning the relevance of the monarchy, he says Charles is ready to have those conversations. He is a man 
man who is in tune and likes to talk so much so that they had to yank him sometimes off the line because he was talking with people so much. So we'll see how it all goes. A lot of eyes on him. Hey, Deb, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.